privacy, this or this. Oh, what's up guys? In today's video, we're going to talk about the difference between Tor and VPN. So, let's get started. Yeah, welcome friend. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment. Today, we're going to talk about the use of Tor against VPN for privacy browsing. So, basically, no matter why you want to stay incognito online, you're likely to choose a virtual private network or Tor browser. These are two of the most popular options among those concerned about protecting the uh, identity. But if you are looking to choose one, which is the most suitable, which is the more convenient? So we're gonna go and see what's going on there. Stay with me until the end, you're gonna find out our final verdict, which one we think is great. To put it simple, Tor is the best for transmitting sensitive information. On the other end, VPN is usually a more effective solution for everyday use as it strikes a great balance between connection speed, convenience, and privacy. Okay, in my opinion, and technically, Tor and VPN are tools used to stay privacy online. So these two perform similarly, but they are different functions. We're gonna see each of them. We're gonna start with what is the Tor browser first. In a question where uh, we're asking ourselves, uh, what is the Tor browser? The Tor browser is, is a free open source. Psst, the name sounds silly. <laughs> But the idea behind it is brilliant. The Tor browser network is built of layer upon layer of independent nodes run by the Tor user around the world. So, but what about uh, what is VPN then? VPN is a virtual private network. It helps you to protect your online privacy by creating a secure connection to any network or server over the internet. VPN are widely used to avoid geolocation restriction, prevent traffic sniffing, and ensuring secure interaction with your shopping or banking application, for example. Then again, what's the difference between Tor and VPN? Well, the key difference between Tor and VPN is how there are multiple VPN tools and service providers available by only one Tor browser network. Tor relies on a decentralized layer of independent node to transfer data securely, while VPN software connects to a central server to provide a secure VPN tunnel. Okay, now let's talk about why we need to use Tor. What's the benefit behind it? Okay, first of all, you can hide your online activity. Secondly, it's anti-spy protection. So Tor prevents order from tracking the website you visit. You can hide your identity. Tor try to make all users look like to stop anyone identifying you from the characteristic of your browser or device. It's multi-layer encryption. In the Tor network, your traffic is redirected and encrypted several times to keep you totally anonymous. It's free access. The Tor browser allows you to access two websites blocked by your network. That's wonderful. Then, 
What about VPN then? Well, VPN has its own benefit as well. First of all, a VPN allow anonymous web surf. So basically, a VPN add your real IP address so you can browse website privately. A VPN remove regional restriction. A VPN server are located across the globe so you can overcome regional limitation and access any website to watch movie or listen to music like Netflix or Amazon Music. So another one is uh, VPN keep a high speed connection. Yeah, that's right because Tor is really slow. I can assure you. As you use a specific VPN server to get connect to your desired destination is much faster than connecting through several tour nodes for example a VPN really help you to avoid censorship limitation imposed by certain government by connecting user to servers outside of the country jurisdiction and internet service providers then lastly the vpn secure connection via public wi-fi if you access to the internet from a public wi-fi hotspot a vpn keep your internet connection secure if you simply want to ensure your privacy and secure access when traveling or working from home remotely then VPN is your most suitable choice. Okay, now we know. But when should you use Tor? That's a question. Well, most of the time, if you want to use Tor, if you want to stay safe while accessing joy restriction content. One. The second one, uh, if you want to access the dark net, ooh, Tor ID services is also the getaway to the dark web. It's made up of websites that are only accessible through a Tor connection and cannot be found through search engine like Google. The dark web is often associated with criminal, which is why it's illegal in some country. Finally, if you want to stay away from browser trackers, if you want to use the internet and leave no footprint using the Tor browser, is the best solution. It's almost impossible to trace a connection to the original user, so you can surf the web without leaving any identified sign behind. Mm. Okay, what about VPN? When should I use VPN? Well, use VPN over Tor if you want to unblock region lock content. You want to keep your internet connection private. And finally, if you want to be secure when using public Wi-Fi, using a VPN on public Wi-Fi protect your sensitive information, password, username, and all the personal information like uh, your credit card, from would be hackers around there so better use vpn <laughs> i don't know yet we'll find out on the conclusion well the bottom line now personal security and privacy is become increasingly important as government hackers or even our favorite search engine google invent more advanced ways to break our anonymity and track our behavior while Tor and vpn services both work to keep your identity anonymous the latter is a more convenient choice when used correctly Tor is free browser that will encrypt your online activity but it's really slow and cheap that's a problem does not provide access to all websites and can potentially lead to problem with the law if you use it really badly but for me i can really confirm that both of them are very good it depends what you want to use it for that we see we're going to finish our web uh, video right now uh thank you for watching 
again please don't forget to subscribe to like to comment to share and uh, be ready for the next video to come whoa cheerio bye bye